Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you come in contact with this video. This is Angela and I want to welcome you to the channel and I do hope that this morning's devotion will be a blessing as I try my best to come on on a Monday with the devotional and whatever download I have as I go through the week, I present them to the channel and to our family. God blessing be upon each and every one. Today we are here and we are going to talk about humility. We are going to talk about humility. And uh, I have seven how to be humble. I have seven ways how to be humble. And I also have two scriptures that I will be sharing from. You can always have as many scripture as you choose to have. You know, you can uh, you can go and look it up, look up humility, and you will see all the scriptures that are there. But I'm going to share two scriptures this morning, one from 1 Peter and one from Colossians. And the seven, the seven ways to be more humble. The seven ways to be more humble. We thank God for his awesome presence and thank him for his goodness and mercy that he has bestowed upon us. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. There is not one good thing that he will withhold from us. And this morning we are believing him as he lead us, as he said, he that humbleth shall be exalted. Do you want to be in that number of exaltation that our Lord and Savior is talking about, our Heavenly Father, that he that humble shall be exalted? Yes, we, we want to be a path of that. We want to be a path of that. Father, we give you thanks for your sons and your daughters this morning. We thank you for today's devotional and thank you for your presence in our lives. And God, for those that do not know you, we pray for their souls. We pray for them this morning that God, they will come in contact with you wherever they stand, wherever they lie. Mighty God, we pray that your presence will be felt in their mind, felt in their, in their hearts, and that God, they will come to acknowledge that you are Lord and Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for those believers that are, that are struggling, Father, we put them before you this morning, and we truly thank you for your mercy and grace upon each and every one. Lord, we commend this devotional into your hands this morning, and we pray that, God, your, your presence will be felt over it, and that, God, you will cover it under your blood from every thought and every arrow, because, Lord God Almighty, the devil come to kill, to steal, and to destroy but we are trusting your word that, God, you came that we might have life and life abundantly. Breathe afresh upon this devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The first scripture that we will be looking at is coming from 1 Peter 5. 1 Peter 5 and verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders, yea. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed in humility for God resisted the proud and give the grace and give grace and give it grace to the humble. Can you imagine resist that resistant? He said he resists the proud. We have to look into that word that God resists the proud resist is moving away you know he doesn't want anything to do with being proud and you know we all are born in sin and sin did our mother conceive us and so we we end up with tendencies that is not of God and the word is what we will use to now come against that which will easily beset us, the sin that will easily beset us. So even as we press in this week's, in as we press in the devotion today and press to this week, we want to reflect on 
you know, God, if there's anything in me that is not of you, you know, I'm asking you to take it. Like, I constantly has to say that because the struggle is real. You struggle with one thing or the other. And that is just the fact that we constantly have struggle. We struggle in different ways. And uh, God is there to help us to reach the goal of what he has written for our life. Colossians 3 and verse 12 said, Put on therefore as if the, as the elect of God, holy and holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humility, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. You know, I'm gonna touch the, the, the long suffering because many a times we're there and we're going through so many things and we we ask you know, why? Why do we have to suffer? And why do we have to suffer so long? You know, it's it's like a process that God is renewing, you know, renewing our mind constantly because we struggle with sin. And thus the long suffering just hang on there. And um, so it's like the Lord is saying, don't don't resist long suffering because it's really a part of our whole being of being a believer and just think about it you have to clothe yourself i have to clothe myself before i do the video this morning and that is what the lord is saying we must clothe ourselves with these things so we have to make an effort just like we make an effort and if if our clothing need to be ironed, we make the time to iron the clothes. So iron the clothes, put it on, make sure it stay good on us and all of that. Just think about the process that you have placed within getting the clothes that you like and putting them on. And this is what the Lord is saying. Put on these things. Now, how to be more humble. I'm going to move along and say these seven 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 ways how to be more humble reflection on the word of god and see we have just gone through the word a while ago connection with who god has put you on the earth to be so you know god has written for us a purpose we have we all have a purpose like i would find out that the Lord wants of me to be in this manner, you know, to teach his word and to pray for his people and to be and to be there as much as I can for them. So, you know, whatever, maybe God has brought you on this earth to sing, to 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 to, to be a praise and worship leader, to be a minister to be a bishop, to be whatever the Lord has called you to be. There is something there that God wants you to fulfill, you know. And hospitality is something that many a times we overlook, but some people have a gift of hospitality. And so you want to look into your gift today because God has written something for you. So you need to connect with what he has written for you. Be grateful for what you have. So many times we forget about what God has blessed us with and start to look on what someone else has. And that is a distraction that can move us out of the place of being humble or move us out of the place of humility. You know, that's three. Four said, ask for help when you need it. Right? Five says, learn to let go the past and focus on the presence the present so many times we we think so much about what someone has done to us and what we have been through but we're not even recognizing that there's a change that god has blessed to be in our life right at the present moment so five is just talking about for you to let go the past um Stop questioning your worth. 
stop questioning your worth you know we spend a lot of time and and that is destruction too because if we keep on looking on someone else's life then we're going to question others because we're going to think that we're not good enough and they are better and and it brings us into that place of comparison as well and it leads us away from that which god has written for our life so we have to stop questioning our worth and seven said the last one says be aware of your own shortcomings strengths and limitation be aware of your own shortcomings strength and limitation so you want to take time out to actually look into those words and allow them to help you along the path of humility because god said he resists the proud and he also say in another scripture that he that humbled shall be exalted and we all want to be exalted we all want to be seen for what we are doing and we all want to be commended in what we're doing so we have to do it the correct way and that's my devotion this morning father we give you thanks for your word and for your your guidance and for your protection for, and for your presence we thank you for your goodness and we thank you for guidance lord god almighty we pray that you will guide your people this morning break every chain of disobedient break every shackles oh god that the enemy wants to place upon your people this morning and we pray that god you will be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path we thank you god for your goodness and mercy and that which you're about to do in the lives of your sons and your daughters lord we give you thanks and we put all in your hands and in your cares in jesus precious name amen god bless you see fail and see your vision that god has given unto you don't give up don't give in keep pressing